guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be testing some exhaust pipes on a still MS200T. Still 200T here. I'm going to be using a 16 inch bar and chain. The chain's about halfway through its life. It's sharp. So we use the same chain and bar for all the cuts. And the exhaust we've got. Just your bog standard exhaust to go on the 200. We're going to try two cuts with that one. Then we've got a standard exhaust that someone has put a um, hole through it, what they call porting, I think. Um, see how that one goes. And then we've got this little pipe, what I made up from a workshop the other day. So we're going to run that and see if it actually makes a noticeable difference with cutting. Let's get this one bolted on and see how we get on. So we've got the standard muffler on this time with a 16 inch bar and chain. We're going to do two cuts with this one and then move on to the next one. Right, no problems with that one whatsoever. Good standard muffler. Now we've got the muffler with a hole in it and the same bar and chain again. Do two cuts with this. So this one goes. <laughs> That didn't really sound much louder to me, but it felt a little bit more powerful in the cut. Let's um, try the other one, see what that seems like. Now to try the little pipe what I made, let's see if that makes much of a difference. To me, it feels like it's made a massive difference. Obviously, I'll get back and I'll put the timers on the screen so we can see what each cut made. But um, I think I'm going to leave that bolted to a saw and take it to work and see how I get on with it. I don't know without seeing the times, but I'm convinced that that little pipe has made that saw cut a hell of a lot faster. I could be wrong, I don't think I am. It feels and it sounds a lot more faster and powerful in the cut. So, I think that's a pretty good little pipe. Let me know what you think in the comments.